Hi everyone, I welcome all of you to Video Solutions of Anthe 2019 that is Akash National Talent Hunt Examination. Now I am going to discuss the mental ability part of class 10th paper having code XP. So let's start our discussion with this first question. Here it states choose the odd one out of the following options. Here you can see you have four options out of this. One of the term will be there which will be not following the pattern followed by rest. So let's identify that. Very first you can observe here I am having alphabets as well as the numbers. So there is some coding and pattern related to alphabet positioning. K comes at 11th position you can see here I have the number 11. O comes at 15th position here I have the number 15. When I consider 11 plus 15 it gives me the total as 26 the reverse of 62. Now coming to here M comes at 13th position here we have the number 13. Q comes at 17th position. Here we have number 17. 13 plus 17 gives me the sum total as 30. So you can see here, reverse of that is here, that is 0, 3. Next, coming to this number, N comes at 14th alph alphabet position. Here I have number 14, while R comes at 18th position. Here I have the number 18. 14 plus 18 gives me the sum total as 32. Here I have reverse of that, 23. Now coming to this one, J comes at 10th alphabet position. Now the number 10 is here and comes at 14th alphabet position that is here. You can clearly see there is some difference in pattern coming to this term. So this is the odd one out which is not following the same pattern followed by rest of these. So now I have obtained the correct answer for this question that odd one out is option number 4. Here you get the correct answer for this question. You can easily mark it as option 4. I hope it's clear to you. Let's proceed to our next question. Here this question states the missing term in the following series is. You can see 4 terms of the series that is 1, 3 by 2, 11 upon 6, 25 upon 12 is provided. You need to obtain the next term. So let's try to identify the pattern here. Here I am talking about this given series where you have the first number as 1. When you add 1 by 2 to 1, you get here 3 upon 2. Next, when you consider 3 upon 2 and you add 1 by 3 to it, you obtain 11 upon 6. And when you consider here 11 upon 6 and you add 1 upon 4 to it, you obtain next 25 upon 12. You can see a pattern here it was 1 upon 2 then 1 upon 3 has been added then 1 upon 4 has been added that means in the next term we will be adding up 1 upon 5. So next you will be considering 25 upon 12 add here 1 upon 5 to it and simplify it on simplification you will obtain 137 upon 60 that means this is the next term of the given sequence. So here we have the series having this term as 137 upon 60 which is clearly present in option number 2. So you can definitely mark the correct answer for this question is option 2 that is 137 upon 60. I hope this is clear to you. Now let's take up our next question. Here I have question number 73 which states that the total number of squares in the following figure is. You can observe in this figure we are provided with this diagram where we have lots of squares. Now you need to do counting for the number of squares. In this figure let's consider that the bigger square is of 4 units. So we have here 4 such rows in each row we have 4 such squares that means I can consider here the smallest square of unit 1. So it is having the side of one unit and we are having four such squares in each row and there are four columns also. So if I consider the squares of one unit considering this whole square is of the side four unit then in that case I get four squared that is 16 such squares. Now if I consider the squares of the edge two units or the side two units which is combination of two such small squares that is four such small squares then you obtain one two three such rows in similar way three such columns. So if you are taking the squares of side two units then in that case you get the number of squares equal to three squared that is nine. Further if I consider the squares having nine such smaller squares that is having the side of three units. 
it will be found in two rows and two columns and in that case I obtain total number of such squares equal to 2 square that is 4. Next if I consider the square of the side 4 unit that is only 1 found in only one row and one column. So, total I am getting 30 such squares present here, but that is not sufficient. Here you will also find some number of squares in this case belonging to few rows and columns. You can see in this case we are talking about the squares along the diagonal also. Here if I consider this diagonal and I join it up, here you can observe that two small squares are obtained on joining the diagonals. In similar way, here also two small squares are obtained on joining the diagonals. So, we have four such small squares and on joining the diagonal here also you can observe I have a big square present here that is one in number. So, considering the diagonals also I am getting here five squares present that means next I could say that in this case we have in this case it could be said I have 30 plus 5 total 35 as the number of squares present here. So, considering this question you can definitely say now the correct answer for this question is option number 3 that is 35. You can mark your answer as option 3 for question number 73. I hope it is clear to you. Now, let us take up our next question. 